Welcome to the field here at Dodger Stadium. As you can see, we got special guests galore, our usual crew with the big hurt, Hall of Famer Frank Thomas, Big Poppy, his protege Mookie Betts is here. <laughs> Miss Moreland, who hit one to the moon, is here. A Rod, Alex Rodriguez, and I'm Kevin Burkhart. Red Sox, what a win. And, and let's let's start here, Mitch. You guys, you know, this was a marathon last night, right? I mean, here you are. It's four-nothing. Puig hits a home run. That's a tough spot. And I want to know what you guys are thinking there coming up in that inning when you got this thing going. Yeah, obviously, um, you know, we went a few innings there. Didn't have a whole lot going for us. Uh, you know, everybody was fighting. It's just one of those grinds. You, you, you know, you could feel it, but, you know, we kept our heads in the right place, you know, kept trying to create that uh, that havoc on the bases, get some opportunity out there. We got a couple of base runners and, uh, you know, able to capitalize. Hey, I had a question for y'all. How do you guys feel about Rich Hill coming out of the game? Uh, I mean, you know, he was, uh, he was pitching great, um, you know, but, you know, I, we just try to grind through at bats and kind of wear him down and, and get him out of the game. Maybe get to uh, somebody else where we can put some runs on the board. But uh, you know he pitched a great game. Hey, we talked about Dave Dombrowski and he doesn't get enough credit for bringing guys like Nathan Evaldi and obviously Steve Pierce, who's like all world, right? How big have guys like that, obviously Nunez, guys like that, been for you guys? I mean, they've been they've been great for us. You know, uh, obviously, uh, Nooney came over last year and, and, you know, hadn't quit doing what he did. You know, as soon as he got here last year, he's done that all year for us. Uh, obviously, uh, you know, Piercy, um, Nate, Kins, all those guys have stepped up and helped us get to where uh, where we are. You? Today. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. As far as acquisitions in the middle of the season, yeah. those guys have been huge for us for sure. I saw Chris Sell yelling and screaming in the middle of that dugout. Did that have an effect in that seventh inning? Oh, absolutely. You know, he was uh, he was letting us have it for sure. Mm -hmm. um, you know, we were we were slow, um, but you know, once he started yelling, I think everybody kind of knew we need to pick it up. You know, because okay. uh, he's not going to yell for no reason. Mm -hmm. yeah, I mean, guys, you know, just give me a sense for the ability to hit with two outs, right? I mean, this has been a state all year. You guys were better than anyone in the league, but in the playoffs, it's been a staple. How have you been able to consistently do that, Mitch? Um, I, I don't think we change a whole lot. Um, I was telling somebody the other day that asked that. I feel like we've been pretty consistent with it across the board and in, uh, in, in every part of it. But, uh, you know, we, we approach all of them the same. We're grinding out at bats, trying to win the pitch. That's something AC preaches a lot. Just go up and win the pitch. And, uh, you know, I think we don't take we don't take it bats off. We don't take pitches off, whether it's no outs, one out, two outs, bases loaded. It doesn't matter. We go up there and, you know, we're trying to win that win that pitch in that situation. Can somebody talk to me about Steve Pierce, please? <laughs> Preach. I mean, for some reason, everybody thinks he's this serious guy. You know, I guess the way he looks or whatever. But he, man, he's he's hilarious. He's one of those people you got to have on the team just because he brings laughs, brings joy, but he also brings that intensity that everybody needs. And then obviously he's a he's a great player. You know, swings it, and plays defense, does everything you need him to do. And he's just one of those guys that kind of flies under the radar, but it definitely carries the team. Hey, wow. fellas, you're one win away from the World Series tonight. What are you sleeping? What are you thinking about when you wake up just one win away? I don't even know if I want to go home right now. <laughs> uh, you know, I'm fired up, ready to get back out there, and uh, let's do it again tomorrow. Let's play right now. There you go. <laughs> well, let's do it. well, you got Chris Sello tomorrow, so, you know, get a few runs, and hopefully the recipe will be the same all season long. A big victory for the Sox. Yeah, I mean, uh, like you said, just try and get a few runs and uh, let him do his thing. Unbelievable night for the Red Sox. Now, go ahead, Alex. Hey, Poppy, I have one one question. Why are you holding Mookie like he's your son? This is my <laughs> son right here, boy. You can go on the charter. He's going to the hotel with me now. And you can get a ring if you win a championship. We're going to the hotel, man. Can, can, I ask a serious, like can I ask a serious question, Mookie? We got Poppy. We saw Poppy's first journalistic sit-down interview <laughs> the other day with you, right? So we got his take. How did he do? What, what, tell me about his reporting skills and his sit-down interviewing skills. He did all right. You know, it wasn't, uh, it wasn't you know, fantastic. <laughs> <laughs> all right, but he did all right. I can't. I can't. I can't. You killed me, man. I can't say you did amazing just yet. You need to do one more, and then I got you. I got it. <laughs> <laughs> all right, there you have it. The truth. The truth scoop, Poppy. Hey, you got it, I like it.